In this video, we're going to try to find the acceleration of a car that starts from rest and reaches a velocity of 20 meters per second in 5 seconds. So let's summarize some of the information given in the problem. They say that the car starts from rest. That indicates that the initial velocity of the car is 0 meters per second. And then what it says is the car reaches a velocity of 20 meters per second. So our final velocity over that interval of time is going to be 20 meters per second. Now the time it takes to go from 0 to 20 meters per second is going to be 5 seconds. So the change in time is going to be 5 seconds. Using this information, we can find the acceleration of the car. Now acceleration is defined to be the change in velocity per change in time. So this is the change in velocity and this is the time it takes to change that velocity. Another way to think about acceleration is how fast does the velocity change? That's what the acceleration term is answering. And so in this case, what we're going to do is we know that the final velocity is 20 meters per second, so it's going to be 20 meters per second, minus the initial velocity, which is 0 meters per second, divided by the time it takes to change that velocity, which in this case is 5 seconds. Now, 20 meters per second minus 0 is 20 meters per second, divided by 5 seconds. Now what we do is we divide the coefficients. In this case, it's going to be 20 divided by 5, which works out to be 4. And then the units for this are going to be meters per second per one second. Another way to express these units is that the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. So this is a change in velocity per change in time. So one way to think about this is that if the initial velocity is 0 meters per second, after one second, so v1 indicating one second, the velocity is going to go from 0 to 4 meters per second. After one more second, the velocity goes from 4 meters per second to 8 meters per second. After one more second, the velocity goes from 8 meters per second to 12 meters per second. And after one more second, the velocity goes from 12 meters per second to 16 meters per second. And after one more second, or a total time change of 5 seconds, the velocity reaches 20 meters per second, which is exactly what the problem stated.